Okay, hello first graders. Um, Ms. Jane is back with our math um, lesson here. And so if you haven't um, seen the, the YouTube video that I sent through email about, about measuring the temperature, please go ahead and see that because it um, will be really, it will be easier for you to understand how to measure temperature after watching that video. And also we talked about thermometer in science class, right? So thermometer was one of the science tools and it's very, actually very important, uh, important science tools because we can measure temperature. And there are two different units in temperature, measuring temperature. The one that we are more familiar with is degrees Celsius, right? Degrees Celsius. And we talked about this when we talked about thermometer in science class. And another unit for temperature is degrees Fahrenheit, yeah? So in America, they use this unit, but in Korea and a lot of other countries, um, we use degrees Celsius. Then Ms. Jin, um, how do you convert from Fahrenheit to Celsius? How do you change from Fahrenheit to Celsius? Um, so first graders, it's, it's a bit complicated for us to um, learn the conversion from Fahrenheit to Celsius, so you don't have to worry about it. But basically what you need to do is you need to subtract 32 from this number and multiply by 5 and then divide by 9. So it's quite tricky for, for us to do. Um, but just remember, Fahrenheit, the number in Fahrenheit is a lot um, higher than the number in Celsius. Yeah. Okay, so 90 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay. So in number 1, we need to draw a line to match the temperature to the activity. Hmm. Okay, so um, the first thermometer shows 90 degrees Fahrenheit, and that's about 32 degrees Celsius. Yeah, 32 degrees Celsius. So it's quite hot, right? It's like um, in Korea, July, August temperature, I think. So it's summertime. Yeah. Um, so... Which activity would match up with 90 degrees Fahrenheit, 32 degrees Celsius? Yeah, probably this one, yeah. To go play in the water park, yay! And number two, 30 degrees Fahrenheit is about, it's negative, yeah. It's negative one or minus one degree Celsius. So it's quite cold, yeah? It's below zero degree. What can you do in this weather? Yeah, you can go ice skating, very cold. And number, I mean the third thermometer, it's about 70 degrees Fahrenheit and that's about 20, 21 or 22 degrees Celsius. So it's cool, not cold, but I think it's pretty cool weather, probably um, autumn, like fall um, temperature. And so it's a good weather to go on a picnic. Yeah, so they went on a picnic in um, 70 degrees Fahrenheit. So that's that. Moving on to the second part of this page here, you need to circle the temperature here. Okay, so just look at the thermometer, and where do you, where is the, the 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 line? All right, it's right at fifty. Yeah, let's go ahead and circle fifty degrees Fahrenheit. What about number three? It's right at ninety. Go ahead and circle ninety degrees Fahrenheit. And number four. Oh wow, which degree? Do you think would match up with the picture here? Right, yeah, it's definitely below zero degree. And so um, that's 20 degrees Fahrenheit. Number five, which one do you think would go with this? Yeah, 70 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, we talked about this in number one. It's about 20, 21 degrees Celsius. So it's a good weather to mow, um, mow the lawn. 
so 70 degrees Fahrenheit. Moving on to the next page, you'll have to write each temperature and then and then you'll draw a line to match the temperature to the activity. Mm, okay. With, self, with degrees Celsius now. Yeah, so it's easier for us. So number one, uh, what degree is it right now? Right, it's right about 30 degrees Celsius. Go ahead and write it down 30. And this is 20 degrees Celsius, 20. And right here, the third thermometer is showing us zero degree. So it's quite cold here. So when, when it is 30 degrees outside, what can you do? Yeah, it's during the summer, so let's play in the water. Okay, draw a line, doo -doo -doo -doo. and 20 degrees outside, it's cool, it's not so cold, it's cool, right? So you can rake the leaves. Go ahead and draw a line here, and when it is zero degrees Celsius outside, you can go play in the snow if we have snow. Yeah, this girl is sliding down the hill. Line, line, line. So that is that. And from number the, the bottom of this page, it's a reviewing page. So what you need to do is you will have to cross out to subtract and then complete the subtraction sentences. So 10 minus 3, you'll have to subtract 3 of these rice or barley, I think. Just cross out three. Then how many do you have left? Seven. Right? If you cross out eight from 12, you have four. If you cross out seven from 11, again, you have four. If you cross out five from nine, oh, again, you have four. If you cross out two from 10, oh, Again, no, well, not again, sorry. You have eight. And if you cross out five from five, what do you get? Zero, very good. All right, so first graders, that will be all for today. Um, and we talked about thermometer. Tomorrow we'll be reviewing for this entire chapter. Yeah, and so, and have a great rest of the day today, you guys, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.